Hi, welcome to this Court Maths video. In this video, we're going to go through the video solutions to the place value practice questions. If you need any extra help on place value, if you go to courtmaths.com and scroll down to video 222, that's the video tutorial on place value. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code and it'll bring you straight to that video. Okay, let's get started. So question one. Question one says to write down the value of the digit six in the number 13629 or 13,629. So let's consider our place value column. So we've got our units or our ones. Then we've got our tens, our hundreds, our thousands, and our tens of thousands. So the six is in the hundreds, so it's going to be 600, so 600. Okay, question number two. Question number two says write down the value of the digit four in the number 9,048. So, uh, as you can see, the 4 is in the tens column, uh, so it represents 40. And even as we say, 9,048, so we know it's 40. Okay, question number 3. So, question 3. Question 3 says, write down the value of the digit 2 in the number 328,407. So, let's consider our columns. We've got our units, or our ones, our tens, our hundreds, our thousands, and then our tens of thousands, and finally our hundreds of thousands. So as you can see, the two is in the tens of thousands, so it represents 20,000. And even as we say, the number 328,000, 28,000, so it's 20,000. Okay, question number four. Question number four says, write down the value of the digit nine in the number 79,813. So as you can see, the nine's in the thousands column, so nine represents 9,000. Okay, question number five. Question number five says, 473 multiplied by 10, write down the value of the seven in the answer. So let's work out the answer. So whenever we multiply this number by 10, each of the digits moves one column to the left. So the answer would be 4,730. And the value of the digit seven, so that's in the hundreds column. So the answer would be 700. Okay, question number six. Question number six says, there are 59,182 fans at a football match. Write down the value of the digit five in the number 59,182. So the five is in the 10,000s column, so it's going to be 50,000. So question number seven. Question number seven says, here are four digits, nine, four, seven, and five. And we've been asked to use two digits to make the largest possible two digit number. So if we want to make the largest possible two digit number, well, it's going to have a tens and a ones or a unit, so a ones. So we want to put the largest digit in our tens column. So we're going to put the nine in the tens column. And then we're going to put our second largest digit in the ones column. So it's going to be 97. So the answer would be 97. Okay, question number 7b. 7b says use all four digits to make a four-digit number that is closest to 5,000. So we want it to be as close to 5,000 as we can. So let's consider the first number that we can make above 5,000 using these digits, and then the first number below 5,000 using these digits, and see which one's closest. So let's start off with the number that's just above 5,000. So we've got 5,000, and then we want to get as close as possible. So we want the lowest possible 100, so it's going to be 4, and then 7, and then 9. So 5,479 would be the closest number that we can make above 5,000. Let's consider the closest number we can make below 5,000. So let's go for 4,975. That would be the closest possible possible number that we can make to 5,000 below 5,000. So as you can see, 4,975 is only 25 away from 5,000, whereas this number is at 479 away from 5,000. So 4,975 is the closest number that we can make using those digits to 5,000. Okay, question number eight. Question number eight says, write down the value of the digit three in the number 1.358. So we've got our units or our ones, then we've got our decimal point, then we've got our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths. So we've got three tenths, so we could write that as 0 0.3. We could even write it as a fraction, three tenths like so. I tend to write it as a decimal, 0 0.3, like so. So the value of the digit three is, is 0 0.3 or three tenths. Okay, question number nine. Okay, question number nine. Question number nine says, circle the value of the digit three in the number 0.358. So you can see we've got our units or our ones, then we've got a decimal point, then we've got our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths. So we've got three tenths. So we need to circle three tenths. Well, there's three tenths. Okay, question number 10. Question number 10 says, circle the value of the digit seven in the number 0.073. So we've got our ones or our units, our ones or our units there, decimal point, then our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths. So we've got seven in the hundredths column, so it's seven hundredths. So let's circle seven hundredths, that's that number. Okay, question number 11. 
So question number 11. Question number 11 has got 428 divided by 1,000, and we've been asked to circle the value of the digit 2 in that answer. So whenever we do 428 divided by 1,000, the answer would be 0 0.426, moving all the digits three columns to the right, so the 4 would move from the 100s to the 10s to the 1s to the tenths, and so on. So we've got 0 0.426. And we've been asked to circle the value of the digit 2. So we've got our ones, our decimal point, our ones are our units, our decimal point, our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths. As you can see, the 2 is in our hundredths column. So we've got two hundredths, which should be 0 0.02. And that's it. So the answer would be 0 0.02. Okay, our next question. Question number 12. Question number 12 says, write down the value of the digit 2 in the number, and we've got 2,983,154. The two is in the millions column, so the digit, so the value of that digit would be two million two, and then six zeros one two three four five six. Okay, question number thirteen. Question number thirteen says here are four different digits, so we've got eight, one, five, and six. And we've been asked to put each digit in a box to make the smallest possible total when we add them, and we may only use each digit once. So we want to make the smallest possible answer. So I'm going to go for eighteen plus 56 by putting the smallest digits in the tens, so the one and the five, and then I put the larger two digits in the ones, so the units columns, the eight and the six. You could have 16 plus 58, so by putting our values in those boxes, we would get the smallest possible total. And part two says write down the total, so we need to work out 56 plus 18, and when we do that we get six plus eight is equal to 14, but the four down carry our one, and five plus one plus one seven, so the answer would be 74. Okay, part B. Part B says put each digit in the boxes to make the largest possible total. So if we're making the largest possible total, so we had the digits 1, 5, 6, and 8. And we want to make the largest possible total, so we want to put the bigger numbers in the tens. So we're going to put a 6 and an 8 to make a 60-something plus an 80-something. And then we can put our 1 and a 5. So we could have 61 plus 85, or we could have 65 plus 81. They would both give you the same answer. So that's that part done, and part two says work out the total, so 85 plus 61, and let's work out what we get. 5 plus 1 is 6, and 8 plus 6 is equal to 14, so the answer would be 146. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number 14. Question number 14 says write down a five-digit odd number. So it's an odd number, so it's going to end in a 1, a 3, a 5, a seven or a nine. It's five digits, so it's going to be something, 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 and then either that one, three, five, seven, or nine in that last column. So it has an eight as its hundredth digit, so it's got an eight there, and you should only use the digit eight once. So let's put in our odd number, so let's call it a, let's make it end in a seven, and then we could choose any other digit. So I'm gonna choose four, nine, Two. So my number I've chosen is 49,827. And let's just check, it's a five digit number, yes. It's odd, yes. And it's got an eight as its hundredth digit, correct. Okay, so question number 15. Question number 15 says, write down a seven digit number, so seven digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got a two as its tens of thousands digits. So we've got our units or our ones, our tens, our hundreds, our thousands, and our tens thousands. So tens of thousands digits would be there. And we may only use the digit two once, so we can use any other digits we want here. So eight, four, nine, one, zero, five. So the number I've chosen is 8,429,105. And that number is a seven digit number, and it's got a two in its tens of thousands digit. Okay, question number 16. Question number 16 says, write the number 5 million in figures. So 5 million is a 5 followed by 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 5 million in figures. And let's just check our place value columns if you want to. So we've got our units or our ones, then our tens, our hundreds, our thousands, our tens of thousands, our hundreds of thousands, and our millions. So that's it. Okay, question number 17. So question number 17, we've got five digits below, eight, one, four, seven, and five, and we've been asked to write down the largest possible three-digit number that can be made from these digits. So we want the largest possible three-digit number, so we want to use the three largest digits, so that's going to be the eight, the seven, and the five. And we want to make the largest possible one, so we want to put the largest digit in the hundreds, the second largest in the tens, and the third largest number in this list in the units or the ones column. So the answer would be 875. And part B, 
part B says write down the smallest possible four digit number that can be made using four of the digits. So we want to use four of the digits, so we're going to use the one, the four, the seven, and the five. Let's not use the eight because it's the largest possible digit. We want to make the smallest possible number, so we're going to choose 1,457. Just putting the smallest one at the front, the next smallest is the hundreds, the next one smallest is the tens, and the, sm and the largest of the four digits as the ones or the units. Okay, in part C, part C says, write down the three digit number that is closest to 500 that can be made with three of the digits. So let's just write down the digits again. We've got one, four, five, seven, and eight. So one, four, five, seven, and eight. So if we've got 500, this closest number that we can make smaller than 500 would be 487, because it's 400, and then it's got 87. And then the closest number that we can make above 500 would be 500 and 14. That would be the closest number that we can make above 500. And 487 is 13 away from 500. And 514 is 14 away from 500. So we want to make the closest one to 500. So the answer would be 487. That's it. Okay, in question number 18, our last question, and this is a calculator question, and we've got the populations of five countries shown below, and this is at the time of making the question, obviously these change all the time, and we've got country, Australia, Bangladesh, Colombia, Denmark, and Ethiopia, and we've got their populations of, of 26.5 million, 173.1 million, 52.1 million, 5.9 million, and 126.5 million. And we've been asked to write down the value of the digit nine in the population of Denmark. So the population of Denmark is 5.9 million, or five, and then if we put our nine and then five zeros, one, two, three, four, five, zeros. So that is 5,900,000. We've been asked to write down the value of the digit nine, so that would be 900,000. That's it. Okay, part B. Part B says find the total population of the five countries in the table. So we need to add these numbers together. Now I'm going to keep them as millions, so I'm going to keep them as decimal numbers. So I'm going to do 26.5 plus 173.1 plus 52.1 plus 5.9 plus 126.5. And they're all in millions. And whenever I add those up, I get 384.1 million. So that is our answer, 384.1 million. I'm actually going to write it as in figures, so I'm going to write 384, and then it's that's in millions, and then we've got 100,000. So my answer would be 384 million, 100,000. Okay, and part C says, the population of Fiji is 940,000. Complete the sentence below, the population is so many million. Well, it isn't actually a million, it's a bit smaller than a million. It would be 0.94 million. So the population of Fiji is 0.94 million. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the place value practice questions. I really hope you find this video useful. If you do need any extra help on place value, video 222 on Cobra Mavs will be a fantastic video tutorial on that. Uh, and you can scan the QR code to be brought straight to that. I really hope you find these video solutions useful. If you have, can you please like the video? Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks so much. Cheers. Bye.